the plan of the day today is going to thrift stores um, and just this the next town over. So I'm going with my mom and her friend, which can be an interesting time. So I'll try to get footage. Well, I am going to get footage of all of that. That's from Marshalls. This goes on top of a playing card case. It's not a logo. They are bananas. These are banana bookends. Oh, look at her. She's really cute. Think. Let's see if she works. Does she kind of work? She's kind of crooked. This is my favorite aisles to look at. There are all the little knickknack figurines. Oh, look we there. It's not a blue bow duck, but it's still a duck nonetheless. And I'll bet you I will find a blue bow duck here somewhere. All right, this is pretty cool. It's a Super Mario cup. So I'm gonna get that from my son. I also stuck in here. This is a vintage chalkware piece. Um, there's no chips or anything on it. It's $2.99, so I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that I have but I can find his partner here somewhere. Just a little, it's made in China. It's just a cute little miniature. Anything down here? This is a Talavera, which can be valuable. There is a collector's market for this Talavera stuff. Um, it looks like someone has mutilated the tag. Right now I'm on this side. This is my least favorite side is all of this glassware. Just the plain colored glassware. Not a fan of. I'll just take a look to see if there's anything. There's this little teapot, but it's not worth that much. Now here is a canister for cat treats. It says meow. It's pretty cute. $2.99. Had some chips on it though, so. Hopefully this is an ashtray. Suspected. There's nothing. Peg. This is pretty cute though, but not what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm at the mug, the wall of mugs, and these two guys caught my eye. So there's this one. And there's 69 cents. He's in great shape. And then there's his little friend, who is also in great shape. These are nesting mugs, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. These will be good on Etsy see they stack like that. There's probably a set of four. Let's see if the other two are here. And I just like to look at the mugs. These are new. Sometimes these pottery mugs can also do well too. This is 69 cents. It's got a little bit of chips around the corner there. Okay, one cool dad. This is Tasmanian Devil Vintage. I'm going to get that. It's dated 2000, so it's not that. It isn't that vintage, so. And it's got a little bit, has some condition issues, so I'm actually going to put it back. 
I got excited there for a minute. This is neat. It's like an Ogatari mug. It's got these biplanes on it. This is pretty neat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick him in the cart to look up to. It's not marked Ogatari, but it sure does look at look like it. Not really seeing anything else as far as the mugs go. I was kind of hoping that they would have kind of have a couple more of those stacking mugs, but they don't. Alright, so so far in my cart, I did pick up a pair of these black Danskos. They're in great condition. Danskos, and always look on Danskos on the inside too, because I have bought some that were torn up on the inside. These are really pretty good. So they are a quick sell for me, typically. And then I also picked up this Jansport backpack with these little kitty cats and stuff on it. It's in excellent condition. So. But I was looking at these shoes here, and these, I almost picked up, like I said, I'm trying to be very picky. These are Min Minnetonka, these are seven and a half, and honestly, I'm thinking about get getting them because I like them for myself. So, I'm going to stick these in my cart as a maybe. Also, these Anne Klein Ballerina Flats, I have sold these before, and they sell for about $15, $20, but you can see on the inside here, they're pretty torn up. So I am not getting those, but I have sold these before. Pretty bad on the back end, too. Here is another pair of Danskos. These are the Danskos of Vegan, um, like a Mary Jane canvas. They need cleaned up, but I don't know. I'm thinking about them. I think I'm going to run some comps and see if it's something that I want to get. And also these Ankine Eiflet, Anne Klein Eiflex. Now I had these before and they sit forever so I'm not getting those today so also I came across these lucky brand wooden clogs but they have like water damage and the backs of them are pretty pretty bad um, but normally if these were in great shape I would have got them and they look tiny too I want to say they're probably a size 5 so I'm passing on those but so far I've had some decent shoes I'm having a little bit of a moment because I just found a pair of Escada shoes. Um, they're vintage and they're, I mean, they're, the condition is a little questionable, but they're Escada and they're made in Italy. They're size eight and a half. So I'm gonna think about these for a minute, but it just made me happy that I found a pair of Escadas. Anyway, um, oh, and look, I have my Rally Roots bag to use when I'm done. But I ended up finding a pair of Cole Haan uh, Patton, their Nike Air. Let's see there, Nike Air heels. So I'm going to get those. And I ended up getting the dance goes because they were selling for about $20 online. So I got those. And then him. Look how cute he is. My mom actually found him. He's so cute. He's a little chef. And he's California pottery. Let's see on the back. And he's $3.99. So I'll get him. And this cool lamp is $5.99. And I think it's really cool. So it doesn't have a finial on top, but I've got some finials at the shop, but I think it's pretty cool. So that's gonna go into the shop. All right, I'm gonna continue to look. It turns out that these are tennis shoes. They're men's and they're in great condition and the comps are going for about $30 or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up too. All right. Unfortunately, I got excited when I saw these Sorrells, but unfortunately they are in really bad shape. So I'm leaving them behind. Well, this is a fitting shirt. I have a Jack Russell and he's crazy. Well, I found the gift for my dad. Best dad jokes ever. No, just kidding like this intrigued me though too and this is pretty heavy but I'm gonna look it up because it looks like it's all in there it's never been used and sometimes these things will surprise you how much they can go for how much is it it's $2.99 so let me look it up and I'll check in back in with you to see if it's worth looking up this is 
that's where I get myself in trouble because I love this so much. It is, it's upside down. It's a deviled egg tray and it's New York City. But it's, it's supposed to have a salt and pepper shaker for the New York City and that little flower thing is and it doesn't. And it's vintage, it's only $1.99. So we're at Salvation Army now, and look what I found. It's a blue bow duck. I'm trying to go through these mugs. I have them just kind of thrown up here everywhere. It's a little kind of confusing, so. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking, but we're now at Salvation Army. Here's an alabaster vase. What should they want for it? They want $2.99. This is an alabaster vase. Or vase, alabaster stone. But it looks like... I can't tell if that's a crack there. I think it's just part of the marbling. So I may put this in my cart. That's pretty cool. And I also have in here a CNN mug. I'm going to see. I don't know. It may not be worth anything. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. A bunch of clear glassware, which I despise. Um, this is from the Grove Collaborative. It's an empty bottle. I have that spray bottle. And that is an empty container. Was are they trying to sell this empty container for $1.99? Okay. Hi guys. It just occurred to me that I didn't film an outtake video for my thrift with me video. So this is it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button to be informed of when I'm going to be posting new content, which will be several times a week. Tune in tomorrow because I will be posting my haul video. And I'm going to show you how much I paid for things, how much I think I'm going to sell it for, and what platform I'm going to sell it on. So please make sure that you tune in for that, and I will see you with my next video.